Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Uh, this is a new side-scrolling Mario platformer that just released, basically, uh, like yesterday. Uh, there's been a lot of hype about it, you've probably heard about it, um, so I'm just gonna see if I like it. Uh, before I dive into that though, I want to talk about platformers a little bit. Uh, you may have seen this infographic thing before. Uh, Nintendo of Japan put this out around the time they were releasing Odyssey to sort of explain what kind of game it was. Um, so it says at the top here 3D Mario, and you've got Course Clear type 3D, which is stuff like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, the 3D Land and World games. And then you've got, I think it says Miniature Garden 3D, but uh, it translates as roughly Sandbox 3D, uh, where the objectives are in whatever order, that kind of thing. I tend to prefer the latter. <laughs> Um, and while this is only really talking about 3D Mario, I think it can apply to more or less any platform. You can separate them out into these two varieties pretty easily. Uh, like, obviously it works for these Mario games, but also, uh, it works for other 2D platformers of all sorts. Love this game. Uh, and it works for 3D platformers of all sorts. Love this game too. Uh, and like... Even if a game is one of the best platformers ever made, objectively, the fact that it is a course clear platformer is one of the things that kept me personally from enjoying it quite as much. Uh, which is a shame because, as I say, this is, this is factually one of the best platformers ever made. Um, but I definitely find the sandbox style more my speed. <laughs> uh, got a few examples here. 3D World, I vastly preferred the Bowser's Fury part. I didn't love either of them. Um, I felt like Bowser's Fury was trying to be Odyssey and failing because Odyssey already existed and did it better. <laughs> uh, Forgotten Land, I was disappointed because this was essentially Mario 3D World with Kirby rather than Mario Odyssey with Kirby, which disappointed me. Pretty All Stars, I found disappointing because there are two sandbox Mario games here. And they're both ported pretty poorly. And there's one course clear game, which is ported decently well, but it's a course clear game. Couldn't get into like this new crash game, that sort of thing. Because again, that's a course clear platformer. Uh, it's just a genre that doesn't appeal to me nearly as much. There are exceptions. I like Yoshi's Island, for example, but it's very hard to appeal to me quite as much if you're that genre of game rather than the other kind of platformer, which I like better. <laughs> I mean, if you're following the channel, you've probably already noticed that Super Mario Odyssey is one of my favorite games of all time, to give you an idea. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, let's just dive in and see how this one does. People have been very impressed with this from what I've heard. Uh, but my initial instinct going in is, can it, can it be a Metroidvania? <laughs> I know it isn't one. I know, I know it is a course clear game. So we'll see if I like it. We'll see how we go. <laughs> uh, there's a loading icon under my face. I'm not sure if that's going to matter. I might need to move my face around. We'll see. Uh, title screens is basically the thing we're already just looking at. Let's hit L and R. Okay, so it's using user-based saves. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, I believe this game has local multiplayer. I'm not sure if it has online play. Oh yeah, there are a lot of characters you can play as. Um, so you've got, uh, I believe everyone in this, this uh, greeny grey section is just a normal character. They all have the same attributes exactly. And then everyone over here is like an easy mode character who have invulnerability. You can see it says Yoshi's and Nabbit won't take damage, but they also won't transform with power-ups. Let me move my face over here so you can read it properly. There we go. <laughs> um, this feels like a weird decision, uh, because playing as a Yoshi seems like a fine thing to do if you want to do that, and making that the easy mode if all of these characters otherwise play identically is a bit silly. Um... We're gonna go in as Daisy and see how we do. Um, but yeah, it's not like in 3D World where the playable characters all had different stats and so it made a difference. That These are the same, except that some of them are easy mode and some of them are normal mode. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. 
you're leading with other kingdoms that are near the Mushroom Kingdom. And I like Odyssey. We'll see how this goes. I'm receiving an invitation from Prince Florian. Daisy and the others are traveling here for the first time. It feels like my controls are jittery or something. Hey, it, it feels like it's not running properly. Like I know, I know it is. This is on hardware, but it feels like the fr it's dropping frames or something. Hey there. <laughs> hey there. Also, there's talking flowers in this game. The party? It looks like the jump noise isn't the character talking, which is an interesting change in. And in New Soups, it was Mario's voice, like in like in 3D Mario, you know, wahoo, and all that. Here, just like a boing. Where's the party? Okay, Daisy doesn't have like a, a dress float or anything. She is norm controlling normally. Okay. Uh, I'm playing, by the way, with a pro controller. I'm just using the D pad. It does work with the analog stick, but it doesn't have analog movement, so it seems to make more sense to just use the use the D pad. Wait, the prince isn't talking? Why not? We just had we just had a dialogue box I had to go through. Have him talk, it's okay. <laughs> I, I guess there was a dialogue box at the beginning of Mario World and then no talking when you fight the bosses and stuff, so maybe it's a bit like that, but. It is okay to have your characters speak. <laughs> oh yeah, Bowser turned into a castle. I think this is in the trailers. Okay, we've got flagpoles. Okay, so Stone Opening Cutscene shows us how the levels were created, sort of? By by Bowser being a castle? Oh, now, now Prince Florian is talking. What, what, why didn't you have him talking before? Was that King, King Bowser? How could he steal our wonder flower? And our flower castle, too! I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's so awful. But this is what Homeworld thinks of fusion. Bowser will make a terrible mess of our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. Luigi's under my face, but it feels appropriate given how the character's typically written for Luigi to be under my face. <laughs> You'll help us? Thank you! I'd like to be your guide if you don't mind. Let me just... Seems like this cutscene's written with the assumption that I'm playing as Mario, which I'm not. I am playing as Daisy. I don't understand the talking flowers. I, I don't understand that decision. <laughs> world 1, Pipe Rock Plateau. Okay, so we have numbered worlds. Uh, like in uh, New Super Mario Bros, but they also have names, like in NSMBU. Okay. Uh, I can press L. I assume this lets me travel quickly between the levels. Press plus. 
uh, probably switch characters with this. Yeah, I'm going to stay on Daisy for now. Horses, that's that menu again. Badgers is not unlocked. Dandies? What are standees? <laughs> it sounds like they're kind of like uh, putting down a message with a soapstone in a Souls game. <laughs> that, that is the impression I'm getting. Um, I'm not playing online here, uh, but if I were, I guess... It would show up for other players when I place these, I think. Uh, let's see, player options, one, settings. Oh, yeah, you can change this. Uh, I prefer it this way, but I know a lot of people like it this way. So you can adjust that if you want. Ground pound, you can switch from pressing down for ground pound to just pressing Z if you want. Motion control can be turned off entirely, which is nice. I'm going to leave it on to see what it does, just because I'm curious about it. Uh, you can change the rumble strength if you want. Normal is probably fine. Talking flower dialogue, you can turn that off. Uh, okay. Let's just jump into the first, uh, level here. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. Difficulty one star. I don't see a number on it, but it might have a number once I get it into, like, a menu or something. Oh, I see. Uh, you'll notice at the top there, I appear to have two types of coins. Yep, yellow ones and purple ones. Which is the same thing Odyssey did, it had yellow and purple coins. But I have a feeling they're not going to work in the same way in this game. Which is a shame because I like them in Odyssey. The pipe animation is very cute. Uh, I don't see a timer, which is promising. Uh, I think having a timer is obnoxious. Uh, so if this game doesn't do that, that's actually a big improvement. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. You don't appear to be able to triple jump in this game like you can in an SMB. What a beautiful day. Wowie zowie. Okay, you get an elephant form in this game, by the way. Uh, it looks like the, the trunk works a bit like a tail swipe with like a raccoon or tanuki form. That Goomba looks so serene. Can I leave him? Oh. Well, uh, that's sad. Okay, you can save a power up over there. That was a thing that you couldn't do in some of the NSMB games. You could in an SMB 1 and 2 uh, on the DS and 3DS, you couldn't do it on the, um, in Wii and U and uh, U Deluxe and stuff like that, which was kind of strange. Oh yeah, I can suck up uh, water in my, in my trunk because I'm an elephant. Famously a thing elephants do all the time. Okay, so there's three of those ten purple coin thingies in each level, so they're kind of like the star coins in NSMB, but it looks like they have a specified value. Hmm. Checkpoint flags are still a thing. I thought they really want me to try the new elephant power. They're <laughs> giving a lot of it to me. I'm guessing the yellow coins are going to be an extra life, because I can only get up to 99 of them according to the HUD. Uh, which... It feels like a waste. Odyssey didn't have lives, and you don't need them. You don't need lives. <laughs> uh, I believe this... 
yeah, the Wonder Flower effects kind of remind me of some stuff in Kirby games. Uh, you grab it and then, like, the level changes and random shit happens. It's a bit like, it's a bit like, um, Hypernova in some of the Kirbys, and, um, something else. Something else. Uh, the transformations in the Yoshi games as well? It's a bit like that. I don't know if it's time limited or if it just goes until I collect the thing they want me to get with it. But I wonder seed. Okay, yeah, I think it just goes until you get the wonder seed. And then it stops. Oh, you can jump over Goombas without waking them. Oh, no. Interesting. Grabbing the flagpole does not give you an extra life. It gives you another wonder seed, I think. Okay. Okay, I got two seeds, that's fine. All oh, right, Wonder Seed's gonna be really useful in our adventure. Let's go get some more. Are they like our moons? Kind of? I am seeing that the levels don't appear to have um numbers. Uh, which is nice, because numbered levels tend to be a thing in the course play games that I'm not a big fan of. Yep, we can throw the fireballs as usual. Uh, very standard fireball handling, uh, where you can throw two and while they're on screen you can't throw another. But you can throw lots if they're hitting something quickly enough. up in the background. How do I get back there? This red pipe, maybe? Yep. Okay, this is giving me a bit of a, a Thousand Year Door vibe, which is always a good thing to do. Because Thousand Year Door is phenomenal. Yeah, the coin, the yellow coins are just extra lives, which is boring. Um, but I, I don't know why they they think extra lives are a thing that the game needs at all. So you can get over there. I'm guessing if I talk to you before going through the pipe, they'd be like, "Can you get over so there?" I am enjoying the voice acting for the talking flowers. I guess I want to get this. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Even if it is an auto scroller. Things worth a tenth of a purple coin? So confusing. Why, why would you have anything that's worth a fraction of a coin? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have the fire flower now. Oh. oh, you gotta hold the button. Okay. See if there's anything back here. Doesn't look like it. Uh 
that good enough? Yeah, I guess. So if you don't get the top of the flagpole, does it not free them from the prison? Or do they just not give you a reward because they're rude? So far, this is a decidedly linear experience. Oh, I didn't get the top of the flagpole on that one, see? That one's got like a little shiny flag and this one doesn't. Fine. Hmm. So, you do get the seed regardless, I guess, just for finishing the level. Seems a bit unnecessary since the levels aren't optional. But, yeah. Oh, hello. And I, like... Bouncing back with this? Kinda. Oh, I'm meant to be breaking this stuff with it, I think. Mm, no, it doesn't work. I don't know then. Sorry. Any water. in this game. I know they're called Coopers, I'm being silly. So are all the pipes you can go into red pipes? Is that like a, a hint sort of thing? So the only pipes I've been in so far have been red pipes. Okay, hang on, I can push these pipes. Hmm, and I can't go in these red pipes. So, I guess the red pipe is an indication of being able to go in is not a thing. There's a roulette block there. Oh, hi. I need that. Probably. Oh, this one has a time limit. What am I trying to do? Oh, it resets every time I grab I grab a new star. Okay, so I need to run, probably? Great job! There's a block. Oh, damn it. Oh, it might be okay. No, that was not okay. I guess the little chipmunks that were shooting stuff at me were called skedaddlers? Probably? Fun. The flower castle is me, and I am the flower castle. So much wonder power. I feel myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. 
through and everything will be mine. That's not good. That no good Bowser. I won't stand for his antics. We've got to get to him somehow. Oh, it seems like propeller power flower up ahead to catch up. We just, just go to the next level and that's it? Oh, something's happening here. Hang on. Oh, yeah. My dad's a castle now. Nobody's going to be able to stop him now. He's all powerful. <laughs> Doesn't that worry you? It worried you in Bowser's Fury. You were very concerned. I remember. It's getting worse and worse. And look at that plant coiled around that house over there. Hey, I've got it. Let's try using our wonder seeds. But this will fix it. That will fix this. They're really powerful. Okay, so they work exactly like green stars. <laughs> Everything alright in here? so scared. I thought I wilt on the spot, but I'm glad I was here to keep this badge safe. Oh yeah, badges. They will do different effects. People who travel with the Flower Kingdom like using them. Uh, Prince Florian, if I could be so bold, would you accept this gift from me? I'm sure someone as princely as you will know how to use it best. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted to wear one of these. Use the power of this badge to help everyone. That brings a bloom to my heart, Prince Florian. I'm happy that you're pleased. I just will take some trouble out of your travels. Goodbye. Okay. This way. Training ground. Parachute cap. While in midair, press R or shake the control to open your hat and float slowly downward. R and ZR both work, which is good because ZR is more comfortable for me to press. Press R in midair. What is R? See you later. Oh, look at this place. There's so much to see, but... Not one of those itchy plants. We're gonna need more wonder seeds. Where do you think we should head first? If we want to have a look at the map, just press L. Okay, that's promising. Uh, this is more or less how 3D World worked. Uh, where you had a map like this where you could just wander around uh, and visit levels potentially in different orders. Rockfell here. Oh, it's terrible. It's Rockfell here because that awful Bowser. I'd smash it if I could, but it's just so huge. I think I had 10 flower coins. You give us poplins and energy boost. There you go. Thank you. Now I've got some oomph in my bloom. I'll break this rock in no time. Hey, rock, stop blocking our path. I broke the rock with that bloom of boot you gave me. Please go through. Okay, let's mix a few more things.
I have a feeling that the badges are going to annoy me in a way I want to talk about, but I need more than one badge to verify. I'm not sure where you get more of them. Coupling shop. Hello. You sell. Okay. I think that's a badge. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Here we go. Adds challenge. Get a parachute cap, I know. Hey, mushroom. I haven't seen one of those yet. Float while in midair. Oh, I will. You don't get a whole lot of float out of this float effect. It's something, I suppose. Keep going. Ah, no grandpa jump. Why are the talking flowers red now? Is it like a regional thing? Impressive. They were orange before. Last jump. You must that badge. You want me to wear it? Yeah, sure. So Florian is the one wearing the badges. Even though he's not the one doing anything. <laughs> Alright. It's strange, but you know, go off. Let's go! Does this just like go very fast? Hold Y and move to dash, dash to get the one to see. Yeah. That was easy. Suppose <laughs> it wasn't claiming to be difficult, so that's fine. They don't hurt me? Hmm. You sure they're enemies if they don't hurt me? That was stressful. Okay, so we've got guys that do that. Oh, I see. Cool. I'll make you less bored, don't worry. You're going to the sky with terrifying clouds. That. I think I've misunderstood how this works. I thought the clouds were bouncier than they were. Can I go back? 
Nope. Oh, maybe. Hang on, how far back do I need to be? Yeah, I, I can't go back. Damn. That's annoying. Oh, you can jump? Okay. Gonna be a stampede now? Yeah. Seriously, why do you get little fragment coins that are worth a tenth when you're doing this part? It's weird. Quiet. That was wild. Oh, a secret exit. Or it's the same exit higher up? Okay. Yeah, I missed one to see, probably in the sky part. Or is it another exit? I don't know. Maybe each exit has a separate seed? Sure we can do something with them. Let's go where that quill plant is. Alright. Does the shop restock or are they already bought the thing that they're selling? Oh, wonder seeds. I, I guess Odyssey did the same thing. I'm looking at here. Is this a level? Wiggler Race Mountaineering. Okay. Reach the goal before the racing Wiggler. Okay. I guess not. Oh, it times me in hundreds of a second. Yeah. We can go way faster than that. <laughs> uh -huh. We did it, we're on a Wiggler race. Flower Kingdom specialty. Wiggler was nice to give us an auto super mushroom badge to celebrate your victory. Really great badge. It tickles the effects of Super Mushroom when you start a course. Right. Want to wear it? Yeah, let's put it on.
Oh no, they even managed to take over the palace here. Special treasure kept there from the royal seed. Better do something before they use it for some evil purpose. Another level. Wall climb jump. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing I can unlock this badge by doing it. Jumping in Soul and press B to jump straight up once. Okay, so it lets me do a wall jump without uh, losing the direction I'm going, basically. I've been kicking off the wall, I can go up. Of a pain to use. <laughs> not very intuitive. I'm not sure if you can get a regular wall jump when you haven't used your like special jump. Oops. Damn it. Gotta backtrack. Impressive. I have to redo this because I missed one. Nicely done! We got the badge issue, it's just a gift. You want me to wear it? Sure. I'm not sure if it counts the stuff I missed as being relevant, but I guess I'll go I'll go back and get it anyway. Like I'm not sure if it counts towards completion to get all the purple coins in these levels because it's not showing them on the menu. Oh yeah, look, they're like ghosty now, so I do want to get them all. Okay. What did you get when you've already got? I think it's worth a little bit less in purple coins. I can get the exact number. There we go. Plenty. Get up there. Yeah. 93. Okay, so they're not worth 10, but they're still worth a decent amount. Bad, like 3. Okay. Will it mark on the map that I did that, or does it not work that way? Doesn't look like it. Oh, but you can see here what you've gotten everything. Okay. Right. Keeping your own of star rings for each course? Courses with the highest star rings be really challenging. Feeling confident, go for it. AO Arena? Pipe. Angry spikes and sinking pipes. Oh, the timer keeps going? Okay. Did not see that coming. 
I think it would be like, it stops for each zone once you've killed everything. the edge? It not work that way. Go can. Did I do all of them? Huh, alright. That was easy. <laughs> I have enough badges now to talk about this. Having a single slot here sucks. Um, there are a lot of games that do something like this uh, in a slotted way, uh, where you can equip one or maybe you can equip three and that's it, uh, and they all take up the same amount of space, um, and that's bad. <laughs> Uh, for example, Ukulele uh, has a tonic system that looks a lot like this, and you can only equip one tonic. Uh, the sequel, U Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, has a similar tonic system, but you can equip three tonics. Uh, in both games, it doesn't work very well. Uh, because, uh, for example, effects like being able to wall climb jump uh, are worth a lot more than effects like you get coins for defeating enemies. Uh, and they're being valued as equal. Uh, and it means you can't have uh, fun cosmetics. Uh, ukulele has this problem. There are a bunch of tonics that are, like, uh, make the game sepia or make it uh, flip horizontally or vertically on the screen or other gimmicks like that. And they take up the same slots you can also use to give yourself, like, extra lives, uh, ex sorry, extra checkpoints and extra um, jumping abilities and flying and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it doesn't really fit well. Um, to just limit it in this way. Interestingly enough though, this name, Badges, actually identifies exactly how you fix this. <laughs> uh, because uh, there's a certain other game uh, with Mario in it that has a system called Badges that you can equip a limited number of them and they are valued differently. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called Paper Mario. Uh, and in Paper Mario, each badge costs badge points to equip. Some of them cost, uh, like, three badge points, which is a really good one. Uh, some cost one badge point, which is an okay one. Some cost zero badge points because they're just cosmetic, and you can equip as many of those as you want. And a system like that would work way better <laughs> in every one of these games. Uh, setting it up so you have stuff that's really good costing more points. And the number of total points you have, you can increase as you go. Uh, like in Paper Mario, you start with three badge points, you can level up to get six, nine, etc. Uh, same, same thing here. Uh, maybe you start with, uh, like, two or three badge points, and you can equip just one of these. But as the game advances, uh, you get, uh, some more badge points, and then you can equip this and this. And say, uh, maybe this is worth one badge point, and you can equip this along with this at the start. But then you won't necessarily have room to equip this. Um, like, it's more complicated, obviously, but it's better. <laughs> and it's called Badges. It's the same name for a mechanic that is better than this one. <laughs> uh, let's go find the thing I missed back here. Uh, I guess on this one. Uh, 
Oh, you can't grandpa kill these guys? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll keep the elephant and see how I go. Okay, here's the go here's the board one. Bam. Okay. Okay, let's not fall this time. Uh, because I know the clouds are not bouncy, this regular platform. Uh, and then there's one more Wonder Seed as well. My guess is for the other Wonder Seed I need to go to the non-secret exit at the end. What do I do with this? Hang on. Uh, maybe? Maybe it only, it only does that if I have the Wonder Flower activated or something? Hmm. Now there's coins on this part. Does that mean... No, it doesn't mean anything. Why would it mean anything? Okay, it's just getting to the other flagpole gets to another one. Okay. Okay. I don't know, like, they're used in the game kind of like uh, green stars or star coins. Uh, but the way you get them is different. Uh, it's one from the Wonder Flower and one from each exit. Uh, rather than having, you know, a certain number of them hidden in every level as completely optional things that you want to find. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, looks like you don't need to gold both flags. There's only one, uh, section for that. So, I guess I'm done there. Yeah. Visit the castle. This one's only got one wonder flower, wonder seed. Hmm. Wonder whatever you want to call it. Power moon. What am I looking at? Okay. I'm guessing that's just for beating the boss and there isn't one like a wonder flower in the middle of the level in this case. Oh, the turn blocks look nice. They're not like a new thing or anything. Turn blocks have been in the game for a long time. They're in smooth, but they look nice. Wowie zowie. Hammer bros. Pretty conventional hammer bros. I still think it's weird that there are yellow coins that give extra lives and purple coins that are money. Just, just have the have a coin that's money. You can have multiple coins that are money if you want one that stays collected, like Odyssey did. Uh, but you, you don't need a coin that's money and a coin that's extra lives. You just don't you don't need extra lives. <laughs> Oh, maybe the boss doesn't give you anything because the Wonder Flower's down there. Hmm. What would you make of that? Can I go through this pipe to get there? Okay. Sure Okay, so pipes what fall down is the new thing, I guess? It still really weirds me out that you get, like, ten of a purple coin in this section.
Oh, I missed one. Hmm. Be the card. Apparently I... Yeah, I missed one of the purple coins. Eh, I'll go look for it later. Boss fight? Where the bosses are in this game, I guess. Well, that's Baby Bowser. Apparently it's Bowser Jr. Baby Bowser's a different character. What, you think you're gonna stop me? <laughs> okay then, I'll play with you. Palace is super mega loaded with Dad's wonder power. No way you're going to beat me. It's going to be fun to see you try. <laughs> oh, can I do a wonder thing? Uh... What? Go big? I mean, this is different, but I don't... I'm not sure I understand it. And now I'm little? Oh, that's so white. Ugh. Doesn't really fit the decor around it very well. And so, Daisy's party reclaimed the palace. With the royal seeds safely in hand, they set off in pursuit of Bowser, who had somehow turned into a castle. Can they stop Bowser before he pulls off whatever he's planning? Probably not. Petal Isles are just ahead. This beautiful place is the heart of our flower kingdom. Let's try to catch up with Bowser. Got the Bowser will be around here. What was that? <laughs> no one can even get close as long as my cloud piranhas are here. It means I can focus on gathering up all the wonder power. I've got enough to build up a big wonder. The world will be mine. <laughs> it's awful. Isn't there some way we can stop him? Oh, what's this? What? Where'd that cloud piranha go? What have you done? So much power, all from just one royal seed. Of course, that's their answer. As a request, it's almost too much to ask of you. Will you please help me find more royal seeds? They're among our most prized treasures. I believe we can use them to save the Flower Kingdom. The royal seeds will get rid of the cloud piranhas that are swirling around Bowser. Get rid of all of them, be able to reach him. Hooray! Thank you! 
Well, let's make our way up to Fluff Puff Peaks north of here. The royal seat at the palace, way up at the top. Yay! Royal Isles are the center of the Flower Kingdom. They're a chain of islands surrounded by the other areas. Head north from here, reach Fluff Puff Peaks. Kingdom map makes it easy to see where the petal isles connect to other areas. Access the map, press L and then X. Okay, so the worlds are numbered, and Petal Isles is kind of like a hub, rather than actually a numbered world. Okay, okay that's kind of neat. It still seems like I can only go to the to, um World 2 next, because they are numbered, but yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll see, maybe we'll see. Uh, all the fish have been scared off by that guy. I can't get any fishing done with him around. Oh, this is awful. We have to help. Don't worry, we'll do everything we can to stop Bowser. Once he's beaten, I bet the fish will come back. Really? Think that'll work? Oh, let's put the bloom back into my day. I know what I can do to help. Take this wonder seed. I built it in a long time ago. Wonder seeds are so pretty, and every world's seeds have their own colour. Oh! Oh, do they? Like power moons? Oh, yep, this one's yellow. Orange. It's not blue, is the point. It's a different colour. <laughs> yeah! Oh, hello. And it needs me to have two from this world. Okay, so the quota system in this game is kind of like Odyssey. Being a little bit like Odyssey is a really good way to get my interest. Uh, let's do another bad challenge. <laughs> bad challenge. Well underwater, press R or shake for a brief burst of speed. Okay. Kind of like frog suit swimming, but good Leo. I'm just like mashing ZR basically in order to do this. This is essentially a thing you can just do in Odyssey. Um, it's called Fast Swim. Uh, so, having to equip an item to do it and lose some other abilities in the process is kind of a pain. Oh, I missed one. It wasn't quick enough. Okay. Like, it feels like a lot of the powers we've gotten so far are things that would, would be okay to just have without needing to equip an item and use up your item slot. Thought I could be mistaken. Bye. Yeah. Okay, I guess I need to do that again so I can get the one I missed. Nicely done. We got the badge you choose the gift. Want me to wear it? Oh.
It feels like I should be able to just hold the button to boost forward without having, rather than having to mash it like this. That does not work. Granted, you also can't do that in Odyssey. You, ha you do have to put some effort in to swim fast, but... Also, you can capture a fish in Odyssey, and you can't do it in this game. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, if you hold down the button, this happens. You swim forward for a little bit, and then you stop. Making the controller works as well, so it's kind of like rolling in Odyssey, but... Uh. But there's no reward for getting the flagpole once you've done finished the level, which is interesting. Hmm, because I've already got the one to seed. And you don't get an extra life grabbing up the flagpole in this game. It's gonna annoy me if I don't do this. Okay, that's that done. Oh god. Mackerel. I want to see what's at the shop, so I'm going to at least do this one. Uh... I'm assume I want this. Can't charge into these guys. The fast one. Okay. I figured that would, would work, but it does not. Fireball put underwater there. Of course they do. Okay there. something. There's something down there I could have gotten. Mm. Oh well. There's a cheap cheap. 
जाने Use these first. Okay. Confusing level design. Oh, Wonderflower. A different color in this level. Oh, hang on, what? Oh, the water swapped with the air. Okay. Thing that water often does. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff on this level. <laughs> Flower. Are you anything down here? Maybe? Oh yeah. Going with the flow. Oh no, did I just kill that flower? Oh no, what have I done? Oh, you're okay? Careful out there. Okay. That was scary. You usually stay away from birds. After all, I could use a break. After all that, I could use a break. A little shopping might be nice. Uh -huh. Where the Poplin shop here has a helpful exclamation block badge. Wanna flip out your badge? Just press R to see what you got. Have a little look at it. Hi there, here at the Poplin shop, we sell everything. Our special exclamation mark block item is super popular. challenge or something I'm supposed to take it to, so I can see what it does. Maybe just a level over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I just want to see what happens if I go in without the badge. Do a different. So I saw some exclamation blocks immediately. Uh, and if they, well, let's, let's assume I want to swim that level like that. Okay, now I can't see them at all. Okay. Kind of bad. Okay. 
Okay. So the problem here, like yellow blocks with exclamation mark on them, we've seen those before. Uh, they were in Super Mario World, and the way it worked in that game, hang on, it's visible. There we go. The way it worked in that game, uh, was that you see like dotted outlines of where the blocks are going to be. Then you go to the Switch Palace, and you get the block, and then it's there for the rest of the game, and you can stand on it. Uh, and there are four different Switch Palaces, and they, they can all be active at once, and in, like, a standard, like, thorough playthrough, they will be. You can skip a lot of stuff and not do it if you don't want to, but you're most, most likely going to. Here, you have no idea that equipping the exclamation mark block badge is going to do anything, and it's taking up your badge slot. Uh, this is just... I have problems with this badges thing. I don't think it works. I think it's broken. Uh, it should, at the very least, uh, allow you to equip more than one. Uh, this, and it's exclamation mark one. When you don't have it equipped, you should see dotted outlines so you know that the badge will do something. Uh, because you can't actually put it on during a level. It just it just doesn't seem like it works to me. It feels extremely flawed. It's sad. Because I love badges and I love the game the badges are from, which is Paper Mario. <laughs> uh, but I feel like the here they just haven't implemented it in a in a way that works. Granted, this game is extremely popular, so what do I know? But. That's my take, at least. This place is dangerous. I'll just wait here. Not like I've got much choice. Hiding over here? Yeah, there is. Whoa! Well, that was something. Hi. Hello. Oh no! Oh, can you power up? Okay, yeah, the bubble power up is a new thing, game, I believe. That's pretty decent. Oh yeah, and it goes through walls as well, so you can hit certain stuff hiding inside a wall. Like that. Uh, 
going up. Is that the idea? Yeah, I guess so. Everything feels so clean now. Did you miss anything? It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's interesting. You can bounce off the bubbles. I don't like that. I'm not sure I didn't miss anything up here. Extra bounce. I could be doing it wrong though. Okay, I think I've seen enough to sort of call out a video. Um, I do like a lot of things about this game's design. Um, the like unique effects when you get a flower and Get a wonder flower are really interesting. Um, I'm glad there are a lot of characters you can play as and it doesn't really make a difference who you pick. Just nice. Um, check it out, something at the shop. No, nothing new. Alright. Uh, Some really fun level design. Uh, I imagine this would be quite fun to play with friends as well. I don't know if it goes online. Maybe it does. Uh, but yeah, it'd be fun to play in multiplayer. Um, I've heard that in multiplayer in this game, um, you don't collide with the other players, so you don't like mess each other up the way you could a lot in the NSMB game, which is an improvement. Um, what else? I like that Wonder Seeds seem to work a little bit like Power Moons, uh, and you like get different colors depending on which region you're in and stuff like that. That's really cool. Um, and I like that there are coins you use as money. Uh, I don't like that there's a live system and that there are coins you use to get extra lives because we, we, it's, it's 2023. <laughs> you already made Odyssey, you figured out you don't need lives, why are they still in the game? Stop doing it. Stop having lives, you don't need them. <laughs> I also am very disappointed with this badge system, almost entirely because of the single badge limitation. Um, actually, I had in time had this too. Uh, you can have up to three equipped or something like that, and some of them are like, gimmicky uh, presentation things and other things and stuff like the grappling hook you literally need all the time that I feel like should just be a, a free upgrade you always have rather than a slot you're spending. Um, and yeah, uh, being able to equip a singular one of these when some of them, you know, might be incredibly vital to the level you're playing, like a dolphin kick, which lets you swim at a decent pace, while others like the coin reward or the auto super mushroom are really really minor things that do almost nothing and take up the same slot uh and then there's this which is basically like a switch palace except it takes up the slot and you don't know that it'll do anything until you've equipped it because you don't see the audit outlines this this feels like the most flawed of the badges i've seen so far like these are all fun little effects, and it's fun to have one and just do stuff with it. Uh, but over here, this one, I have no idea that the fact that, like, there will be exclamation blocks in a level until you equip this and see exclamation blocks in the level, because there aren't any dotted, dotted lines when you don't pick one. And this is incredibly minor, like, this, this is just how um, 3D World and 3D Land worked. You always start big in those games, um, and it's just assumed that that's how the game works. Whereas here, it's using up your badge slot that you can use for something more important. 
uh, like being able to parachute or dolphin kick or whatever. And coin reward, that's incredibly nothing because it means yellow coins. Uh, and that's just extra lives and you don't need lives. It, it's not a necessary part of the game. You can you can dispense with them. Just don't don't have them. <laughs> I don't know what the other badges are going to be, but the fact that you can only equip one, and that one of them is this that only seems to do anything if you equip it and see that the blocks show, show up afterwards, it feels emblematic of that design just not working very well. Which I think is a shame because. This game is really pretty, and I'm really enjoying a lot of the level design. There are a lot of things I like about this. Um, but there are a lot of decisions they've made that just feel wrong. And I don't understand why they're like that. Hmm. Oh, and this too, like, the way this is presented suggests you can go and get a royal seed from each of the game's worlds and clear up one of the flowers and then you get the final boss. One of the flowers, well, the piranhas, piranha flowers. Uh, but clearly the game isn't going to work that way, uh, because I only have the ability to go to world 2 right now, which is over here, um, and the worlds are still numbered. So, like, even though there's this central hub thing, and it looks like you'd theoretically be able to do stuff in different orders, you just, you just can't. In fairness, um, this is also kind of a thing in Odyssey. Um, I mean, it is, it is very much a thing in Odyssey. The kingdoms have an almost completely fixed order on each playthrough. But the kingdoms themselves are open enough and flexible enough, and there are a couple of little choices you make about the Order of Kingdoms that make it not bother me. <laughs> um, plus, you know, the whole game's design is about having a series of big open playgrounds. Whereas here, you have a bunch of individual levels that happen to be grouped into worlds, and the levels that you've grouped into worlds, uh, the world is stuck in a certain order. It just doesn't feel right. It feels like I should be able to go over there and, and visit World 3 before World 2, but you just can't. Even, even though the story kind of implies you should be able to. Because we're not actually chasing Bowser through each of these worlds anymore. He's sitting here. He's just stopped, and we're going off to find stuff that can help us beat him. Uh, whereas in Odyssey, um, to bring up my favourite game of all time again, in Odyssey, you are directly chasing Bowser from kingdom to kingdom for the entire game. Uh, so the order conceptually makes sense. And when you pick which kingdom to go to out of two, it's because you're not sure which one Bowser's gone to and you're looking for him, basically. And in every case, you do end up finding some Bowser shit going on when you pick a kingdom, so <laughs> it doesn't make a huge difference. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here... You've got this central hub here, um, called the Petal Isles, between each of the worlds, and and a narrative conceit that implies you should be able to go uh, between worlds, like, two to five? Hang on. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. There's five of them now, so there would be two to six? Um... Uh, so that you can get the other five five royal seeds you need to get rid of the five remaining chompies. Uh, but you just can't. You have to go to World 2. Uh, it, it feels like a weird decision. Um, I would have just written the story a bit differently so that you don't have this issue. <laughs> because, yeah, Odyssey doesn't have, the, doesn't, have, doesn't have that story issue. It can have a curve of easy, easier kingdoms to more difficult kingdoms. Uh, just by having it that you're directly following Bowser rather than going off to find tools to defeat Bowser. Um, it's just a weird decision on term in terms of the story because it's not really compatible with the way the game works. Uh, a little frustrating. Um, I like badge challenges. I think that's a really neat thing. Um, 
it reminds me a lot of the, uh, what are they called? The, the rare stone treasure, the treasure void thingies in um, Kirby Forgotten Land, uh, which were a neat concept. Um, as much as that game did disappoint me a lot for not being Odyssey with Kirby, <laughs> Um, that, that part worked, and here it's basically doing the same thing again, and it's working. Um, and it's neat. Um, I also think it's pretty cute that you can just drop in and talk to people, uh, along the route and, like, let them know that you're helping out and stuff. Um, navigating between the levels is a bit strange. You can see... Uh, to come back here, play that little, like, world map cutscene thing, you can't actually select stuff on the world map to go to it. Um, like, this is this is not an interactive screen, it's just showing me where I am. Uh, I believe I could go to Petal Isles and pick a level like this. Travel there more quickly. Yeah, that works. Um, it is a little weirdly restricted. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Um, it seems to be probably among the best, if not the best, of the games doing this, um, compared to, like, uh, like, NSMB and stuff like that. I'm just not the biggest fan of what it's doing. <laughs> And it's made some decisions that I feel don't fit. Um, like having a story that suggests you should be able to do things out of order, and having a limited live system in 2023, and having this badge thing where you equip one badge and some of them do almost nothing and others give you this really significant ability and others might do something, but you can't tell until you equip the badge. It just, it just, it's just very strange. Very strange decisions. I feel like if this worked on a badge point system, uh, where, um, like, total, total crap, uh, like this, for example, didn't cost nearly as many badge points as something very good, like this, then that would work better. Um, and I would probably be less frustrated by it. But the way it is, with a single badge equip, uh, which can either be something really cool and helpful, like a fast swim button, or it can be something that does essentially nothing, like an auto super mushroom. It's just, it's just weird. This made some strange choices. <sighs> anyway, um, it's about all I gotta say, I guess. Um, save. You can save anywhere, as you can see. Um, that is an improvement compared to this. Oh, it's the last level I played. It saved a picture for. It doesn't seem to have like a whole album or anything. It's just one shot, but neat. Um, yeah, um, it just, it just feels like they made some, that they modernized a lot of stuff, but not all the stuff, and some of the stuff that they kept, and, and they made some mistakes that I've seen before that don't make sense, like the badges thing, and this is a game I'm very conflicted on. Um, you can probably tell from how I keep trailing off and having trouble finding my words and stuff. <laughs> I think it's super fun. Um, I would still prefer a game that is more open world. Um, I, I would definitely love this more if it were essentially the 2D version of a collectathon, which is a Metroidvania. Um, rather than basically the same kind of game as something like Mario 3D World. Um, just, you know, in, in 2D. <laughs> and definitely the, the biggest, the biggest sticking point here, I think, is having a thing in a Mario game 
old badges after what they did to Paper Mario. <laughs> uh, because, y yeah, the, the thing about badges, um, you, you, can, you can wear a lot of them uh, and get multiple effects, and they're priced in terms of badge points depending on how good the effect is and how much it impacts you. Uh, Sure is. This sure is a video game of all time. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope, um, I hope this gave you a sense of what Mario Wonder plays like, and I hope it didn't get you too uh, frustrated that I keep talking about a different Mario game that I'm not playing. <laughs> um, that's about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, very, a, ver a very strange reception, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's um, that's Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It is a video game. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>